On this edition of Terriers Take 5, a competitive cure. Terrier athletes put on a spike ball tournament to fight children's cancer. Racing on the river. The Terriers take part in the 52nd annual Pet of the Charles Regatta and save the best for last. Matt Gilbert's patience has contributed to his success in goal. We only get five minutes, so that may not be our best virtue. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. The Terriers score! Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. The first spike ball set wasn't even sold until 2008, but since then has grown in popularity each year. BU Athletics has joined in the fun, but this time to spike out cancer. On Sunday, October 30th, New Balance Field hosted the first spike ball tournament in association with the Andrew McDonough Be Positive Foundation and the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. They kind of reached out to us and said, you could put on an event as a fundraiser and we came together as an executive board and decided to do a spike ball event. It's been really in the works for like the last month between finding teams to compete in the event, raising money for donations, uh, getting field space here on New Balance and it ended up working out really well. Andrew McDonough battled leukemia and complications of childhood cancer for nearly 167 days before passing at the age of 14. His B positive blood type became a motto for those around him to simply be positive. Well, we were talking about what like events, like what fundraisers we'd want to do for certain like organizations and Charlotte had mentioned be positive and I talked to her about it a little bit too because she also um, has a friend that is close with the McDonough family. Even the smallest amount can make a difference, so we're looking forward to keeping this partnership going with the Be Positive Foundation at Fox University. The DeWolf Boathouse opened its doors for the 52nd annual Head of the Charles Regatta from October 22nd through the 23rd. The Terriers had five top five finishes over the two-day events, including the women's lightweight 8A team placing second and the men's club 8A team finishing third. The guys looked like they rode probably about the best that I've seen them. It was, it was real tough conditions. Uh, it looked like we had steadily moved away from, um, from Princeton, who was behind us. Um, and we were a little bit slow in, in the first part of the race. It could have been from a heavy gust of wind uh, or, or split compared to the other boats, those other top four. It was a little bit slower. Um, again, maybe wind conditions or whatever, but after that, I think we ran with uh, split for split with a lot of those boats. Uh, the duration of a collegiate career can go by in a blink of an eye. For senior Matt Gilbert of the men's soccer team, time is served as the ultimate restart. The 2015 Patriot League Goalkeeper of the Year, Matt Gilbert, has had to wait his turn to get to the top. Gilbert came to BU in 2012, and working with the coaching staff, decided to redshirt. In 2013, after a year of getting stronger and improving his skills, Gilbert was ready to prove it was his neck. He got his opportunity starting 15 games while Nick Thompson was out with an injury. To be honest, I was a little bit nervous that I wasn't going to get my position back. You know, you never know when someone else steps in. And he started playing well and he got better and better the more games he played. And I was starting to get a little bit nervous. And it, to be honest, it made me work harder coming back to try and make sure that I was going to start senior year when I was coming in. Going 5-9-1 in 2013, Gilbert was already a seasoned starter when the 2014 season came around. However, Thompson returned to the Terrier lineup and staying healthy, saw every minute of action during the 2014 campaign, leaving Gilbert as the backup. Yeah, I think that that season was a, a big wake-up call for me. Um, I think that the fact that Nikki took the reins that season and, and brought them to the Patriot League Championship was huge and it kind of uh, left some big shoes for me to fill. So. Um, I think it was, like I said, a wake-up call and, and it was good for me to sit out that season because it showed me that you can't take your spot uh, for granted and, and that you have to make the most of what's in front of you. I just think the, the big thing about Matt is, is the development of him as a, as a, as a person. I mean, I mean just maturity-wise, uh, athletically, physically-wise, how much he matured and as a goalkeeper, how hard he worked to turn himself into a uh, a, a really top Division One goalkeeper at the college level. 
Gilbert has played all but 36 minutes of action this season and currently leads the Patriot League in saves at nearly five per contest. Well, our five minutes are just about up, as that'll do it for this edition of Terriers Take Five. You give us five minutes, we'll give you BU Athletics. Look out for all new episodes coming out on Thursdays. Our next one will appear on Thursday, November the 17th. For all news BU, check out the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For producers Leo Pare and Chris Lizio, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.